Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what I wanted to go over was how to adjust the gas pressure on the outlet side of a natural gas 90% uh, efficient furnace. So this one right here has low pressure natural gas running to it. So in the pipe coming to the electrical gas valve, it has somewhere in the neighborhood of 5 to 7 inch water column. It takes 27.6 inch water column to equal 1 PSIG. So we're running right around uh, a quarter, uh, somewhere around a quarter or so uh, PSI. All right. So we have that inlet of 5 to 7 inch. But what do we need to adjust the pressure to going to the burner tubes? We can actually adjust it right here on this screw, right underneath of this screw. But you need to also be measuring it right here with a water column manometer. This is a digital water column manometer. And what we're going to be checking is the rating plate. And the rating plate is right here. And let's see here. Right here, you can see that it says inch water column 3.0 to 3.8. So that's telling us that we need 3.4, roughly, inch water column for an altitude of 0 to 2,000 feet. All right, so that's, you know, where we're located at. That's near the, uh, the shore. All right, so we're at just about 0, and so we know we're going to be about 3.4 inch water column. So that's what we need to set it at, 3.4 inch. This is a single-speed gas valve. And you know that because you only see one brass screw. If you see two brass screws and three wires going to it, then you know it's a two-speed unit. If you see an additional uh, brass screw on the on the un on a unit over here and a gas valve, then and you see two over here, then you'd see one, two, and then you'd see a third one here. That would be a three-stage gas valve. If you do not see a brass screw on the electrical gas valve, that may be a variable speed gas valve. So in this case, it's a single speed gas valve denoted by the single nut and the fact that on the rating plate that we just read, there was only one pressure. If it was a two speed unit, it would have two pressures in inch water column. So we're going to go ahead and turn this unit on and we're going to see where we are presently at. So you know, I already took out this little piece right here. Okay. So it's an Allen screw, all right? It's on the outlet side going to the burners. You can actually take it out with a service wrench. Once you take it out with a service wrench, when with the system off, obviously the system is going to be off, all right? So make sure the power is off. Make sure the gas valve is in the off position. The, the uh, Usually it's a red handle, you know, on the outside of the unit. You're going to turn that off. You're going to take this out, and then you're going to put a... Uh, brass barbed tap in. So you're just going to put a little thread sealant on with your fingers. It doesn't need a whole lot. And then you're going to go ahead and turn this in finger tight. And then you're going to put an adjustable wrench on and just give it one extra little tighten. You just want to make sure that it's not going to leak any gas into the room. Then you're going to go ahead and put your tube on. All right. So you're going to put your tube on just to make sure uh, that you have a nice seal. And then you're going to set your water column manometer scale. You're going to set it not to M bar, not to PSI. You're going to set it to inch water column. All right, so all that's already done. So we're going to go ahead and turn the unit on, and we're going to adjust the pressure. You take this brass screw out behind it or underneath of it. There, Typically, it's white or sometimes it's gray. It is a little plastic thumb screw. All right, so you make sure you don't lose your brass piece right here. So right there, it's a white, clear, brown, all right, something gray, something like that. All right, so you're going to turn this. Um, typically, it's clockwise to increase the pressure, counterclockwise to decrease the pressure, and we're going to look for right around 3.4-inch uh, water column. You can use this style or dowel um, gauge type, and uh, either way will be fine for single-speed units. With variable speeds and three speeds, I highly recommend using a digital manometer, all right? So we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. So the gas valve is going to turn on after the inducer motor turns on, the pressure switch closes, the hot surface igniter turns cherry red, then the gas valve will allow gas to come through. So that will be the fourth step in the sequence of operation of this gas furnace. Let's go ahead and get it started. All right, so right now you see an orange glow. That's the hot surface igniter. So that will be step three. 
All right, the inducer motor turns on, pressure switch closes. Then the gas valve will, will go ahead and let gas through. It'll be powered by 24 volts. All right, so we see the blue flame right there, and we see our water column right here. So then what you do is you go ahead and turn the pressure up by turning it clockwise, and that will increase your pressure, or you can turn it counterclockwise and that will decrease your pressure. So you got to make sure it's zeroed out with the inducer motor running. So you turn that back a little bit and you're at 3.4 and that's exactly what we want it to be at with the flames on. All right. So that's how you adjust the gas pressure on a single speed gas furnace. Then you just make sure that you put your screw back on tight. Okay, make sure that's all sealed up and you can check it with bubble leak detector afterwards. All right, make sure you put your brass screw back on, but you're gonna do all that with the power off. All right, but that's how it's done. 3.4 inch water column, and we're basically good to go. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.